Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the first ever bowl game here in the River Cats Dynasty. Six and six on this year, and you just got a sneak preview of next year's recruiting class as one of our top recruits, one of the fastest players in the nation, that's Zane Storm. But we will get into that more in the offseason and in the next season. Here we are at the Beef O' Brady's Bowl as we kick this one straight into action. And ECU, who is 7-5 on the year, will receive this kick. And Davis will return it to about the 27-yard line. Can we finish this season off with the winning record? Let's get this game underway. Here is Williams, the sophomore. He's going to hand off to the junior running back. That is Marquise Patton and he picks up about a gain of maybe one, maybe a loss of one as well. So second and 10, throw out to the right side. It's gonna be caught by Ed Brown, the tight end, and he picks up a gain of 12 after breaking a couple of tackles. It's a first down. So understand this time, Williams throws across the middle. It's caught by Ball out of the backfield. Marcus Ball, he gets about a gain of eight. And a couple of completions now as they get it to about the 50-yard line. Play action fake. This time, Williams will take off. He's got room and will get hit out of bounds. And the sophomore picks up 12 yards on his feet. And it is a first down. Let's see if we can come up with a stop now. So to pass the 50-yard line, running a receiver in motion. They give it off to Patton. And he gets corralled right away by Leon Christopher and cleaned up by the All-American returner. That's Bryant Britt starting on the left side at cornerback. So third and three this time, Williams throws deep to the right side and he's got Josh Davis again, 23 yards, perfect throw by him. And it's a first down, now they're inside the 15. So Williams this time hands off to Patton, Patton cuts back, finds some room and shows some patience, gets spun around. Wow, what a run, gain of nine yards. He worked hard for the, that nine. And now they get it to about a third and one at the, about the two. Handoff, patting up the middle, touchdown, and that seemed like an easy drive for East Carolina. It's seven nothing here as your River Cats come out onto the field for the first time. So here is Frazier, he's gonna hand it off to Deion Carter Jr. on the draw play to start it out. And he picks up a gain of nine. And now we get it eventually across the first down marker as he moved the ball to about the 36. And here comes Phoenix Frazier under center this time. He throws the left side and is caught. Another first down, and that one it is Adrian West. 12 yards for the former captain. And now we get it across the 50 now for a second and six throw. Right back to West. Two straight catches, two straight first downs for him. This one goes for nine. And we move the chains now. We're across the 50. So here's Frazier. Another throw. And look who it is. Surprise, surprise, Adrian West. Seven yards, he's got it as he gets hit hard in traffic. So he does come out of the game for one play. Throw to the right side. It's caught by Xavier Gonzalvo, the sophomore tight end. Gain of 10 yards for him. So now we're in the field goal range. Another delayed handoff and Carter weaves his way up the field. Gain of eight, as you can just see, we're, we are just attacking them with a balanced attack. That is the game plan going into this one. So third and two, throw to the end zone. It's picked off by Harrison. And that is just an athletic play by the linebacker on that one. Let's just take a closer look at this play. It looked like Adrian West was streaking open into the end zone wide open, but it looks like that linebacker just snuck over and made an athletic play. And now they're in control here with possession in a seven point lead. So here comes Eddie Williams back out onto the field. Clean pocket this time. He throws to the right side. He's got Ricky Lake, who picks up a block. Throws a stiff arm to Kyron Favors. He's got 96 speed. That's Terrence Lake, I should say. He's got 96 speed as a receiver. He is definitely their biggest playmaker on offense. So another delayed handoff. This time, Patton gets a block downfield, and he's off to the races. One more man to beat, and he does. It's a touchdown. Toffee Brown could not catch him. And it is 14 to nothing here for East Carolina. So here is a throw out to the right side on the next drive. And that one is dropped. That's a rare drop by Xavier Gonzalvo. And that eventually brings us to a second and 10. Now down by 14. The blitz up the middle. And we get it away. It's Gonzalvo. He does make up for that drop. Gain of 16 yards though. First down as his first quarter winds down. Handoff up the middle. That's Deion Carter. 
and he gets brought down behind the line, loss of one yard, and that eventually brings us to a third and 11. Frazier throws to the right side. It is Tyson Steele, 18 for him. That's a first down for the red shirt freshman. As he gets in quite a bit, he does have the best speed on the team. And now, first and 22 after a penalty. And that's a sack, another one. This time by Jimmy Jackson, their defensive line. And now second and 33 as we start the second quarter. Throw to left side. Booker's got room and speed. Look at that burst. He's got a big game, but he coughs it up at the end. But it does look like his knee was probably down, so I don't think this will stand and we will retain possession. So now we're past the 50 yard line after that big catch and run by Andre Booker. I mean, that guy has been working hard each off season as Phoenix Frazier slides down, gain of eight yards. So we eventually get it to a third and two at about the 29 yard line now. Frazier moves to the right side, stops and throws, and it's Xavier Gonzalvo, breaks the tackle, uses a stiff arm too, and look at this, he's still on his feet, fighting inside the five, gain of 25 yards, as now we line up here under center here, handoff inside the five, and Deion Carter cannot get to the goal line. So now third and goal, we bring in Gunnar Johnson, we're just gonna sneak it right up the middle. Here he is, and he gets in, touchdown right behind the center, and it is 14 to seven. We make up for that interception earlier, but now our defense has to clamp down. So four and a half minutes left here in the first half. Williams throws left side, and he has pretty much been perfect so far. He finds his receiver, Michael Curry. And now third and nine as they do lose a couple of yards on second. Williams throws across the middle. He's got Brown who fights forward, and that's Javon Warren on the opposite end of that tackle but couldn't bring him down before the first down marker. So first and 10, handoff to the left side. Patton picks up a block and a lot of room and another block downfield. He stays on his feet and eventually gets taken down by Bryant's Britt. And look at this, he's already closing on 100 yards here in the first half and multiple touchdowns. But here is Patton on a draw play. Finally, somebody makes a play. It's a big hit in the backfield by Leon Christopher. I have not seen that animation before but I'm glad to see it now in this game. So second and 14, this time Williams, looks like he changes the play at the line, throws, and it's Davis once again, a first down, 24 yards. And man, they have been moving the ball easily in this one. So here's a handoff this time, Patton, clean hole, he hits it hard, untouched, touchdown, Marcus Patton. And now it's a 21 to seven game. Let's see if we can get some points on the board before halftime and cut this lead down to seven. So here's Frazier back out onto the field. Quick throw, it's Tyson Steele who can't make a man miss. If he makes one miss, he's probably gone. He's got pretty good speed at receiver. So now first and 10, fresh set of downs, handoff. Dion. they send the blitz, tackled in the backfield, loss of three yards. And now that brings it to a second and long this time. We'll line up with three wide receivers out there. Gonzalvo as well, throw, and that's Adrian West, who's got room, he puts on a move and picks up a gain of eight. But that'll still bring us to a third down here as we hurry up to the line, trying not to burn any timeouts. Frazier under center, he throws, and that's Gonzalvo. He's got room, and will he make it to the first down marker? He barely gets there and gets clocked on the way. And now we get it to about the 50-yard line. So Frazier, quick throw across the middle. It's Andre Booker who does fight for the first down yardage. And that does stop the clock as we do run the hurry up. And now we bring it back to the line here. Three wide receivers still out onto the field in the tight end. There's a blitz right up the middle and ECU gets to the quarterback. That time it is Zach Stevenson, their third sack of this first half. And that brings it to a third and 19. Here is Frazier moving out to left. He's gonna throw that way. And he's got Eric Klub, 33 yards. Nice catch by him and nice throw on the run. And that's a gain of 33 as we're inside the 20. So Frazier this time moves out to the right side, trying to buy some time. He just dumps it off to Xavier Gonzalvo and he will fight forward. Gain of six as he is shaking up on that play it looks like. And he's gonna have to come out of the game and in comes Isaiah Ford. Here is Frazier, throws to the right side though. It's Tyson Steele who does get pushed out. He's had a pretty good first half as well. So it looks like Gonzalvo is going to be okay here with 15 seconds left here in the first half. Frazier 
moves to the right side, and he'll stop and throw. Touchdown, Adrian West. There we go. That's a way to finish the half, and what a great way to cap off that drive to Adrian West, the former captain. And it is going to be 21 to 14. And this looks like it's going to shape up to be a great second half. So here we go. We start the second half out with the ball. Phoenix Frazier out at quarterback still. Buy some time. Throws. And he's got Andre Booker who puts on a move. Look at the elusiveness from Andre Booker. This has been an, a remarkable three-year jump in season one. He was pretty much a possession receiver, and that's it. Now he can run after the catch. So first and 10 this time at about the 32. Here's a handoff. This time it is Deion Carter, and he gets to about the 36 or 37. And now second and six under center. Another delayed handoff. Carter weaves, and he picks up a lot of room and gets tackled. And that's about a 15-yard gain, close to the 50. Looks like he's starting to warm up on the ground. So seven minutes left here in the third quarter. Here's a play action fake. Frazier throws to the left side, and that's going to be caught. Isaiah Ford, he picks up a gain of nine. And now we make it onto the other side of the 50 as Carter is in the backfield. We're going to hand it right back to him. He cuts back up the middle. First down, gain of seven. It looks like he's shaking up once again. And that's going to bring in Jabari Blaze off of the bench. He did have a couple of nice games at the end of the season. Handoff. He gets about eight yards as he falls forward. And that's a nice little run by Jabari Blaze, his first carry of the game. So let's just go right back to him. Handoff, Blaze, he fights forward, and he falls once again for another gain of five, first down. So it looks like Carter will be all right. He will return in this game, but why not? Just hand it right back to Jabari, and he picks up a gain of four. Let's just keep running the ball here. ECU doesn't seem like they can stop it. So draw play once again. Jabari fights forward. Another first down. That's a gain of four. Eventually, these four-yard gains will bust open for a big one. But now we're inside the 10 as we line up under center here with Frazier. Throw. Ethan Andrews, the third string tight end, and he just does not get into the end zone. He gets to about the one. He's already got one touchdown on the year. So from the one, quick throw, and it's Ethan Andrews. Touchdown. We just dump it right over the top of the line. That was a quick, easy throw and it's 21 to 21. So now with four and a half minutes left here in the third quarter, Patton gets the handoff, runs up the middle, and he breaks free somehow. One man to beat, it's Nick Sturger, and he does trip him up. Gain of 57. Marcus Patton is doing what he wants, when he wants, all over us. So first and goal this time, Patton. He's in the backfield again, but they're going to not hand it to him. They throw it to the end zone, and it's caught. Ed Brown in the corner of the end zone. Why did Ja'Cory Reed not react to that pass? I have no idea. It's 28-21. to 21. They have the lead right back. So here's Frazier back on the next drive, and right away he does get sacked. Jimmy Jackson's got two sacks in this one. That's five sacks total for this ECU defense. So here's Gonzalvo. He's in the game now, and he looks like he is a little bit healthier. He was shaken up earlier. It's a gain of 15. So third and seven this time. Frazier throws, and it's going to be no dropped by Adrian West. That one was an easy one. And look at this. Coach Jay is being aggressive here. Fourth and seven. He's going for it here in the third quarter. Frazier throws, and it's caught by Adrian West. Frazier has some balls. I got to say, he does throw it right back to his guys that drop it. That's one thing I respect about him. He doesn't lock anybody out. So here's a handoff this time. Jabari Blaze, and it's a loss of three. And Zach Stevenson with the tackle in the backfield. So under center now, third and six. Frazier moves to the right side, just trying to buy some time. And he throws on the run, and he's got Andre Booker. Seven yards, first down, move the chains. Booker's got four receptions for almost 85 yards. So here's Frazier continuing this drive. He throws to Isaiah Ford, who was the starter at tight end in season one. He picks up a gain of nine, and now third and one. Here's a handoff, Deion Carter, and he picks up the first down. He only needed one yard, he got it. As now we continue this game on to the fourth quarter. The first play of the fourth is a toss play out to the right side, and Deion Carter's got a lot of room, gain of eight. Nobody was home to the right side. I don't know what they were playing on that one. 
So under center this time, we got the fullback lined up at tight end, but a quick throw. It's Steven Ford, who has started the last four games of the season. It's a gain of eight for him and a first down. So now here is Phoenix Frazier under center. He's going to hand it off. Carter, and he can't get out to the outside. It just seems like we just take two steps forward, one step back. And now third and five under center this time. Frazier, pressure right up the middle. He's going to try to buy some time again. He throws, and he's got Adrian West. That is a touchdown. That's a scramble drill at its finest. Going upfield, helping his quarterback out. Adrian West is a sure flight veteran on this team, and it's 28 up as there's six minutes left here in the fourth quarter. So first and 10, handoff to left side. It's going to be Patton, and he does get tackled in the backfield by the captain. It was just a matter of time until he made a play. And now he gets it to a second and 11. Here is Williams. He throws and gets hit on the throw and that may have thrown off that pass. And it's incomplete to a wide open tight end. So third and 11 this time. Williams, he's going to throw the screen pass out to the right side. Patton, and he gets tripped up. Nothing but River Cats surrounding him. He can't break free on that one. And now five minutes left here as East Carolina does punt it back to us. And here we are trying to just run the ball and run this clock a little bit. And Carter gets tackled for a gain of two. So second and eight, quick throw across the middle. And it is going to be dropped. That was Brian Parrish. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Now third and eight, that stops the clock too. So throw to the right side. It's Phoenix Frazier. He finds Tyson Steele, 25 yards. And a first down as he gets pushed out. And Tyson has showed up in this game. And now we get it to about the 30-yard line with three minutes left here in this game. Frazier throws off his back foot, and it's going to be incomplete. Worse enough, it does stop the clock. So now third and eight, and here we go. We have to convert here because we're out of field goal range. Frazier throws to the right side, and he's got Carter, who does break free as well and gets swung forward. It's a first down now. And now there's under three minutes left here in this game. We're going to try to run the ball some more. So Jabari Blaze checks in, and he falls forward, and it will be about a gain of three. And now second and seven. Carter checks in in the backfield. We're going to hand it off on the stretch play, and he does weave his way, showing a little bit of patience, and he does pick up six, though. So now third and two. This is a crucial play. We run the stretch again. Maybe they're not expecting it. Blocks to the left. And he does pick up the first, but he doesn't get the call. Fourth in inches. I don't know. It looked like he may have gotten that first down. They will have to go to the booth and review this play. And it looks like the camera doesn't get there in time on this angle. But I don't know. It looks like he may have gotten it on the field. And let's see. It will be reversed. So they do rule with us. We get the first down. And now inside the five, we're going to be smart here and take a knee. And East Carolina actually does not call any timeouts. So we do it again, second and goal, knee again. So the clock will run down and we will have the opportunity to kick a game winner here with under three seconds left. The snap, the kick, and it's good. The River Cats will take home their first ever bowl game in their first ever bowl. This is going to be a great future for this team. Just improvement from year to year. And it caps off with a 7-6 record as we take home the Beef O Brady's Bowl. And that is going to be a great comeback victory for your River Cats. Phoenix Frazier was masterful in this game. He deserves player of the game and MVP in my opinion. He was just poised under pressure even when he threw that interception. It wasn't even a bad interception. It was a great play by the defender. And we do take this one. And it was a close one. And like I said, he deserves that player of the game. 32 of 43, almost 400 yards, three total touchdowns. And West scored twice as well, helping out his quarterback. And even Deion Carter, he ran the ball well. Jabari Blaze checked in and got some yards as well. He had six attempts for 21 yards. But that is how you win a game. You just stay in it. You play good defense when it matters. 
and our team just it was a team win all around we gotta stop the run though but i like it going into the offseason we do have a positive attitude with this uh program and really i mean this is kind of a turning of the page because just think about it this is going to be the senior class coming up next season and also we will have a new offense and new defense remember we change the playbooks every two seasons and we changed it after season one and then now we get to change it once again in a two-year span so just looking at our trajectory we've started here 0 and 12 4 and 8 and 7 and 6 i would call that progress so the off season will be coming up soon and next and you can just see this season has been up and down we had that big upset win versus tulsa state and then we had that questionable loss versus M Stam. I mean, this is just an inconsistent season. I think next year is all about consistency and we'll see if we can get it done. But first, the off season is next after our first bowl game victory. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest on.